Hi guys, welcome back to B Speed Shop. So I was able to get another gas bottle yesterday. So in today's video, I'm aiming to get the rest of the bracing welded in. So I'm gonna get all my pieces cut first and then I'm gonna weld it in. So let's go. So this is my plan for the bracing so far. So what I'm gonna do is cut this one off here so that it's flush on this piece. And then I'm gonna cut it along there as well so it sits flat on this piece and then what I'm going to do with this piece is I'm going to cut this piece at an angle so that it will um, sit in line with this piece rather than being next to it will be sitting in line and then I'll weld it to the uh, front of the uh, firewall so I can get all my pieces marked out so I'll start with this piece what I'll do is I'll mark it out and then I'll copy it onto the other piece for the other side and then I can get this piece marked out and copy that on for the one on the other side as well. So I've got my first two pieces of bracing cut now so what I need to do is just clean them up with the old sanding disc so they fit because at the moment they're a bit uh... so I just need to sand the bottoms of them just so that they're flat and then I can get them welded in but I'm gonna mark up this bar so I can I need to do a little angle on that end and you'll be able to see I need a little angle on there just so it's, the end of it sits flush on the firewall and then obviously I can just line that up next to that do a line down that side so I know where I need to cut or the angle that I need to cut it at so I'll quickly get the next two cut and then I'll get them all cleaned up and we can start welding them in so I've got my bracing cut now I still need to uh, just sand back the edges just so they fit square but this just gives you an example of where they'll be welded. So obviously these ones will be welded along the top, on this top tube. And then they'll come down to this uh, centre support piece and then forward to the front firewall. So they'll be welded around there, welded onto this. So obviously I still need to grind the paint back on, on this centre support and on the firewall. So then once they're welded in, then it just shows you how they're supported, how it supports the... Um, the car so I can cut this front floor pan section out obviously the tunnel that will be uh, staying so I'll be like cutting along just that edge there somewhere so obviously it should be pretty secure when this is welded in and obviously I still got the door bracing to do as well so I can take the doors off I've got my bars all deburred now and I've put a little chamfer on these edges just so the weld can go in and penetrate a bit nicer I've cleaned off the paint from this uh, centre support and from the firewall. So what I'm going to do is while I've got this first bar in place, I'm going to quickly set up my welder and just get them tacked into place for now. And then I'll do the same on the driver's side. So I've got my bracing partially welded in now. So I'll quickly show you the stage I'm at. So I've got these ones, uh, they're pretty much welded in and these ones are partially welded in as well. Some of my welds went all right. I don't know if you can see on the camera those ones aren't too bad I think that one just there I think that's probably my best one I've done some of the other ones over the other side that one's not too bad there that one there that's not too bad either the ones on top they're quite nice and the ones up there they're pretty good as well but obviously that's like new metal on new metal Trying to weld like this new metal onto the old metal, that can be a bit tricky, which is why it goes a bit like that sometimes. But they're not too bad. I'm pretty happy with the progress I'm making so far. So, so there's a couple of my welds that I want to redo. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grind them back and then re-weld over the top of them. And then once I get that done, I can measure up for the door bars, get them cut and welded in as well. I've got a few of my welds ground back now, as you can see they didn't turn out too bad in the end. So there's just a few little gaps, like just there, where I want to fill in. And over this side, I just want to fill in this little gap here and try and weld along there as well. Just so it's uh, extra secure in the car. And then there's a little bit under, on that edge there, which I'm going to... I can't really get the grinder in there because the pedals are in the way. So I'll try and clean that up because I want to re-weld that bit as well. So I'll get on, I'll weld them and then 
check back in a minute. So I was just taking a little break from the grinding and I was getting an uh, extra coat on my um, the rollover jig. So this is uh, most of the parts I've had two coats now, apart from these um, the two big bits. I've still got them to paint. What I might do is I uh, take them home and do them in the week, just so it's ready for the next weekend. But you'll see they've had two coats on. They're looking pretty good. All them bits over there as well. So I'm just going to leave them to dry. I might try and do uh, a third coat on them before I go home this evening, just so they're protected from uh, just any damp so it stops them from rusting. So I've gone over a few of the welds that I ground back and I'm much happier with how it's gone that time. That one looks much better. That one up there looks better as well. Um, I'm trying to think what else I did. I did a long a couple of bits there I just filled in and then I did a bit more along that edge. So I'm happy. I've still got to do that um, i got to try and clean that up and do that one over there. But I'm pretty happy with the progress I've made today. So I'm pretty happy with the progress I've made today. I'm going to come back tomorrow and do the bars for the door openings. I'll get them cut and welded in as well. And then once I've got them done, I can get the doors off and then I've got a bit more wiring to pull through the firewall. And then I should be able to drop the front subframe. I still need to take the clutch and brake pedal out and the steering column as well so tomorrow I'll get my door bars welded in and then probably next weekend I'll start stripping it and take the subframes out and then we can load it up in the old rotisserie and put it on its roof. So this is day two of getting my mini braced up so I'm going to start on the passenger side I'm going to take the door off just because I've got more room this side and then I'm going to get measured up for my bracing and then cut them and weld them in. So I finally got the passenger door off. What you got to do is under here there's uh, two nuts there and then at the top two nuts up there. One of the ones at the top had uh, rounded over so what I had to do was get a smaller, slightly smaller socket and just hammer it on there and then I was able to take that off. But now what I can do is uh, clean up some of the paint here and here somewhere and then sort of here somewhere and probably here somewhere as well in this area and then I can measure out my uh, box tube I've got down there I can get them measured up and get a couple of them welded in and then do the same over on the other side so I was able to get both doors off in the end I did have to cut uh, one of the nuts off from the driver's side because it was just rusted on and the actual nut had rounded over so I couldn't get a socket on there to get it off so I just cut that one off but that's fine I can replace them so next task is to clean up some of the paint and measure out my um, box tube so I can cut some bracings for the door I've got my first door brace cut now the clamps are just there just to hold it in place just so I can show you and I can tack it in as well so obviously it's on the angle just so I can uh, then get another piece from down here to the middle and then from about here somewhere to the middle so it's all triangulated just to make it a bit stronger and then uh, the off cuts from these bits what I can do is I can use them I can have one sort of down there somewhere maybe onto the other brace that's coming up and then there's, I can put another one there somewhere onto the other brace just so it's all all connected all the way around just to make it that bit stronger and then I'll be ready to cut the floor out cut these lower door seals out as well and the uh, seals underneath I can then obviously I've what my aim is to get the door bars at least tacked in today and then obviously I've still got a few bits to strip out and then the uh, front and rear subframe can be dropped out and then I can want I need I want to put another coat of paint on my rollover jig just to give that a bit of extra protection so obviously it, most of the parts have two coats at the moment but I want to do three coats I got enough paint to do it so I might as well give it the extra protection and I've just got these uh, the two larger bits left to paint but what I can do is I can take them home and paint them 
in the week. So I've got both of my first door braces welded in both sides now and I'm really happy with how my welding went today. It went a lot better. So you can see on this one here in particular that it's uh, penetrated both sides of the metal quite nicely on the bodywork and on the square tubing and down that edge as well. It's quite good. And the top is quite good as well. And the other side is uh, pretty much the same. So I'm really happy with how it's gone today. So this is the door brace on the driver's side. This is the first weld I did, which went quite good. This one's pretty good as well. A little bit of a bobble just there, but I'm not too fussed about that. And the first weld down that edge, that was quite good. This first one on top, uh, fortunately I blew a little bit of a hole in the bodywork just there. But I've just um, blobbed some weld on top and then I can grind that back and make it look all flush once everything's finished. So I'm probably going to leave this video here for today guys. Uh, obviously I've still got the other part of the door bracing to do and then I'm going to try and use my off cuts to um, brace them in to the bracing in the car that I've done already. So hopefully next weekend I can finish all the bracing. And then I can start to actually finish strip the mini and get the front and rear subframes out. A little bit more painting on the rollover uh, jig to do, but that's almost done. So once everything's all sorted out, then it'll be ready to go into that. And I can actually start working on the car properly, getting the front floor pan cut out and the rusty old seals. So thanks for watching this video.